Today we're going to be talking about the truth behind leaving the U.S. of A. Stay tuned for more. Hey Lambo, Man, that's a nice flag you got there, brother. Looks really, really nice just uh, waving freely into the wind. Go America, right? Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about the truth about leaving the US of A. That's right. This is a little bit of a touchy subject for some, not for everybody, but I think that most of you guys out there that are watching my channel already um, are already planning on leaving the US in one form or another. And um, the thing is that it's daunting just like anything else and um, that's what we're going to be talking about today you know to help dispel some of the myths and help um, make that transition a lot easier for you okay so the truth is that leaving the USA is actually a little harder than one first anticipated why because the thing is that first and foremost even though you might leave the US it's um, unless you have a lot of money and influence it's actually really hard at first to start setting up shop elsewhere. And why? Well, the reason is because you're always gonna be tied down to the US of A. You're gonna be tied down to the US banking system. You're gonna be tied down to how, what they do over there. And as each day increasingly gets more difficult for you to function as an American in the US of A, and it's only gonna get even worse and it's only gonna become even harder for you to leave and function abroad and what do i mean by that well depending on who you are depending on how easy this is again the more money you have the more resources you have the easier it is to just complete this transition but a lot of you people out there a lot of you guys out there literally have very limited resources if any resources at all and you guys want to escape you guys want to leave the u.s and me personally i live in mexico you know, some of you guys want to move to Mexico, but I know a good majority of you guys just want to get the fuck out of Dodge. And that's where this video comes in, okay? Because the reality is, is that, you know, like I've talked about many times on my channel, the US of A is getting to a very, very dangerous point in its history right now, in which it's turning into a communism. And again, guys, you know, we can talk about this all day long and in fact I make videos about this on my channel talking about these subjects um, and we can you know agree to disagree you know just like I I do sometimes in the comment section you know w w it doesn't matter what, what you guys think out there at the end of the day the country the US of A the first world you know whether it's Europe or Canada or any other place the, a lot of these things are falling apart and a lot of people are looking for a way out and especially the people living born and raised in these countries especially again the USA so what happens in a communism, for example, is that they make it extremely difficult for you to leave. Well, the same thing happens is happening in the U.S. Every single day, they're making it harder and harder for you to leave. They just are, okay? Seriously. And, that, and this is why it's a major concern for a lot of people. If I were you guys out there, the first thing I would do is get your passport. If you don't have your passport already, you are long overdue on getting that passport. Step number one, get a passport, assuming you can still get one. Step number two, sell everything. Step number three, buy a ticket. Step number four, get the fuck out. That's it, plane ticket this is probably best, all right? Now, I know this might sound fairly, you know, um, easier, fairly, um, I don't know, dumbed down. But the reality is, is that the difficulties that we have about moving abroad or live, leaving the U.S. is just a lot of fake propaganda that is fed to us by our own country, countries. All right. The reality is, is that when I left the U.S. and I moved out here to Mexico, sure, there were certain things that were a little difficult here and there, <clears throat> just like you know, having any big major change in your life. But the reality is, is that things have never been easier since I've been living here. Why? Because I don't have to deal with the constant harassment of my government in all shapes and forms and sizes. I don't have to deal constant harassment 
from the banking system. I don't have to deal with constant harassment from the police and from everyone, you know, out there with a little bit of power. So many things, okay? And, and like, honestly, the hardest part, the hardest part of leaving the U.S. is just getting over that mental barrier that things are worse out there. The reality is, is that once you actually leave the country, once you actually explore outside of the U.S., you start to realize really quickly that it's a lot better out there. Now, granted, it's not, you know, there's some places on earth that are obviously not better than the U.S. Obviously, the U.S. is still leads the pack and leads, you know, in many categories. But I think for the most part, what you guys are looking for, what most humans are looking for is uh, a roof that they can afford, food that they can actually eat, and freedom and liberty that actually exist. And that's basically it. I mean, everyone has, you know, a few more things here and there. You know, everybody has different variable things as to what they want. But the reality is, is that what you really just want to do is leave. So, for example, the reason I always say that Mexico is more America than the United States of America, why Mexico is more free than the United States is because, again, if you want to leave here, it's not a problem. If you want to get a passport, it doesn't take that long. If you want to, whatever the fuck you want to do for the most part, it's really not that hard. When, again, then this is coming from the point of view of an American. Because I come from the United States of America in which everything is very difficult. Even getting a passport is extremely difficult. Even though it's easy, it's not. Okay? And it's expensive. And there's so many, other, and then each day as they pass, there's even more hurdles to be constantly jumping through in order to make sure that you, you know, uh, qualify for a passport or even get to keep the one that you already have. And, uh, you know, there's just, you know, a lot of reasons, you know, why you would want to leave the U.S. But the main reason, the main reason is the things that I already talked about. Now, the difficulties that come about leaving the U.S. is basically just getting, you know, over the fact of um, you know the the same societal um, norms that everyone is always telling you about that you're not going to find elsewhere. Again, guys, one of the main things I talk about out here living in Mexico is that it's like I'm living in the USA. I mean, again, I'm from Miami. Everybody speaks Spanish in Miami for the most part. I come out here, everybody speaks Spanish, but you know, outside of that. You know, and the Latin culture, I mean, basically it's the same thing as the U.S. And if you go, you know, pretty much anywhere in the world, you're going to find the same comforts, the same everything that you've already find here. The things that you already, that you already find in the U.S. and that you, you're going to want. Now, this video, before I started recording today, the title to today's video was really going to be things that I miss about living in the U.S. of A. And in all honesty... I, I couldn't find anything. I, I really, I was really trying really hard. I was really trying to just see if I could make a list. I was really I was trying to make it an exercise. In fact, the harder it was for me to come up with things, the more I wanted to do it. But honestly, the only thing I could really, really come up with about, you know, things that I miss in the USA, I mean, outside of friends and family, you know, the obvious, but outside of that, in and out Burger. That's it. You know, that's it. You know, just a few food items here and there. That's it, you know what I mean, like honestly. And again, I can live without. And again, if you travel enough or you go to the right places, there's better food out there, all right? I, I mean, I miss myself a, a New York slice. I miss a real Philly cheesesteak. I miss me some barbecue. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things I miss, but basically they all go around food. And sure, I know, I'm a fat guy and I like to eat, but that's not the point. You know, really, I don't, you know, I don't miss the chemtrails. I don't miss the government, you know, um, control. I don't miss the taxes. I don't miss the civil war that's happening. I don't, there's, there's so many, I don't miss the politics. I don't miss any of it. In fact, again, if I'm really going to sit here and start naming things, I start literally naming reasons as to why I'm happy and so thankful about living out here in Mexico. I mean, I, I could literally go off on a list, you know, as to why all the all the major reasons as to why I am happier here and why, you know, um, you know, moving out here is a, is, a, is a great choice. In fact, I make videos about it all the time. 
check out the rest of my channel and you'll find them. But the reality is, is that, you know, there's, it's, there's no right country for anyone. You know, it doesn't matter where you, um, you know, for most people out there, you, you guys don't even care about where you move to as long as you get to leave the U.S. That's the sad reality. Because to me, that's basically what I was dealing with before I left the U.S. was trying to find the cheapest option out, the cheapest place that I could live and survive for the time being, and, and that was really the most difficult thing. You know, that's you know that's why I ended up here in Merida. I just happened to fucking land in the one of the most awesome places on earth. You know, and most places don't even most people don't even know about this place. But again, that's another you know topic for another day. In fact, again, like I said, you know, just check out the rest of my video collection, all right? But the reality is, is that, you know, that was basically my, you know, mode of thinking. What was the easiest way? What was the most financially stable solution? What was the, um, you know, the best all around, you know, um, you know, cultural um, similarities and so on and so forth. And that's why I chose here. I wanted to leave and move in Argentina. It was more expensive. I wanted to go to Venezuela. They're going through a crisis. I wanted to, you know, there's a lot of places. I wanted to go to Spain. It was, it was cheap, but it was expensive to get there. I wanted to, there's a lot of places I wanted to live. But I chose here because it was, literally, I was just at the, the point of, like, on, you know, I was at the point of no return, meaning that if I didn't leave when I left, I wouldn't be talking to you guys right here, right now, today. I probably would have been on the street, God knows if I would still even be alive. And again, this is a sad reality of two most Americans right now. And this is why this video is basically just trying to dispel some myths that it's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard. You can do it. Trust me. All right? I'm not going to be talking about here, you know, like uh, the visa or, the, or all these other bullshit. You know, there's a million other videos and other channels talking about more specifics. I'm just trying to psych you guys all right psych you guys out psych you guys in whatever into realizing that it's really not that difficult the difficulties come in shaking out you know all this misinformation this miseducation that your government your society has given you all right and scared you to the point of not wanting to ever leave the us of a but again if you look at the countries that are the most dangerous on earth and you actually go there they're not that dangerous. You know, again, there's exceptions here and there for the most part. But, you know, and then when you go to the safest places on earth, you know, they're actually pretty dangerous. And I'm, I'm, again, I'm just, I'm literally loosely talking about this. But again, everyone talks about how the U.S. is crazy safe. And it's not. We all know it's not. You know, we all talk about like how Mexico is crazy dangerous. And it's not. You know, sure, it's dangerous in certain areas, just like any other part of the world. But for the most part, it's actually pretty safe. In fact, I'm living in this, the second safest city in all of the Americas, all right? That's literally all the way from Alaska to Argentina. All right, yeah, sorry, well, out of frame there, but okay. So I don't wanna hear that shit, okay? And um, you know, the reality is that once, once you leave the US, that's really when you realize what you've been missing. The things that you've always wanted have always just been there. They've just been taken away from us as Americans. And that is the sad, true reality of the situation. Again, this video is basically, you know, it was titled, you know, the truth about leaving the USA. The truth is, is that every day it's getting harder and harder. When, they, when this guy is saying he wants, he's going to build that wall, he's building that wall to keep you guys in just like fidel in, in cuba you know built that system to keep the people in just like china built their system to keep the people in same thing as the usa they're just building the system to keep their people in why because you guys are all debt slaves and you already know you guys can't leave that plantation you guys are in an open air prison and that's why it's increasingly more difficult to leave each state, whether it's because you don't have the finances or they don't give you the proper paperwork or whatever the fuck it is. It's just making it harder and harder every day. And now with the new special real ID that you guys are about to start getting, well, they've already been issuing it, but you guys are now going to have it mandatory for next year going forward. You guys can't even. Yeah, 
sorry about that. I got interrupted by uh, the U.S. government for a minute there. Actually, I just ran out of battery, all right? But anyways, but like I said, you know, with the whole real ID situation, you know, and, and, and everything that has to go with that, you know, right now, you're not going to even be able to cross state lines without this special ID, special identification, special paperwork, and so on and so forth. You know, I mean, for reals. Um, I read a st statistic the other day in which the, the, US, the, the, the police within the U.S. have killed more U.S. citizens than soldiers in, you know, Iraq or whatever the fuck out there in the Middle East have killed um, enemies. So again, the police has killed actually more people in the U.S. than our own army has actually killed in combat out there. Now I know it sounds like a crazy stat, but again, if you watch my channel enough and you know what's really going on out there in these wars and so on and so forth, these numbers actually do make sense, and especially if you are a, a victim of uh, the police in the U.S., all right, which I think most of us are right now. In fact, there's another stat that one in three people or one in four people has either been to prison or know somebody directly in prison. Now, think about that for a second. One in four people, all right? So, if you're a family of four, Either one of you guys has been to prison already or you guys know someone that has been closely related to you that has gone or is in prison at the moment. It could be your cousin, it could be your best friend, it could be a boyfriend or girlfriend, it could be it could be your fucking dog for crying out loud anyways. But you get what I'm saying. And that's again a fucked up st st you know, st statistic. You know, the US has become a prison, an open air prison. Nobody denies these things anymore. You know, right, we can talk about the FEMA camps. We could talk about, you know, um, the hyperinflation that's coming. We could talk about the death of the petrol dollar. In fact, we do talk about all of these things on my channel. Please, if you want to know more, just scour my channel. But the point is, is that the truth is that if you don't leave now, it's just going to get harder tomorrow and the next day and the next day. All right. And before you know it, they're going to start implementing special rules or laws or whatever to make it even harder. Okay? And again, most of you guys already know what the deal is. Every single day, they pass new laws to help the banks, to help the people in power, and take power and take um, rights away from you. They give more power to the corporations and the people at the top, and they take away from you. Okay? They literally um, keep you guys from moving. That's what they're trying to do. They, they, they literally don't want you guys to, to leave. They want you, to, again, going back to the whole debt slave, you know, um, scenario, conversation. You know, there's a reason why that exists, that word, that verbiage. It's not, you know, trying to just, you know, get you guys to, you know, hear that word slave and, and, and trigger you guys. No, it's really because we're all debt slaves. And that's the sad reality. We're all born with debt. Okay? And um, basically what you're trying to do out there is escape this slave ship okay you're just escaping the plantation and that's why the hardest part about leaving the u.s is still having to deal with the u.s even though you're gone okay because that's been my most difficult thing about my journey all right and that's the thing that's the most difficult thing about most people's journey the less you have the most more difficult it is okay the more you have the easier it is to buy your way out okay but it doesn't mean that you know that money is gonna be salvaged on your way out a lot of it is gonna get taken away from you in one form or another whether it's through taxes whether it's through whatever the fuck okay and that's the thing most people out there are trying to find a way out and in some cases even preserve your wealth why I talk about gold silver and in this case Bitcoin all the time because again if you're trying to escape the US and you got a lot of gold and silver yeah good luck crossing your state border let alone the country's border but again if you have all your wealth within this little digital USB you know and it's in Bitcoin listen you can convert it all to Bitcoin cross the border and once you get back over to, to wherever the fuck you're gonna live then you can reconvert it back to gold and silver so just keep that in mind alright guys it's a way to you know transfer wealth to move your wealth 
to keep your wealth in your hands and in the, out of the hands of everybody else. I could go on and on as to why you want to leave the US, but you guys already have made your decision if you're watching this video and if you're still watching right now that you want to leave the US and you want to leave ASAP. And all I'm telling you guys to do is to get the fuck out as soon as possible. Because at some point, it's gonna be so difficult for you to get out that you're the one that's gonna be crossing the Rio Grande and you're the one that's gonna be called a fucking wetback, all right? Straight up. The invasion is gonna be coming from the north going south. And again, I've talked about this many times in other videos. Guys, the most difficult part about leaving the US is literally just leaving, crossing that border. Because to me, my heart was pounding out of my chest as I was leaving the country. And I got to leave out of Burbank Airport, you know, small, tiny, brinky dink little airport. I did that on purpose, all right? Instead of leaving from LAX, all right? I was able to escape, literally, okay? Because at this point, even if, even if you don't have any tax problems, they create tax problems so you're not able to leave. Once you're gone, once you're out of the country, you can resolve just about anything, literally. And if you can't, they can go fuck themselves. But you can literally resolve everything and anything outside of the country. And in some cases, like me and others, we're looking to get our own citizenship in other countries and trying to break ties. But that's another thing you learn, that once you know, like let's say Cuba, if you leave Cuba and you're gone for two years, they break all ties with you. You're not a citizen anymore, you don't have any more rights, you don't have any more anything. If you leave the US, it don't matter, you're a US citizen for life. And if you actually look up, um, re, re, what is it, um, how do I renounce my US citizenship? How do I get rid of my US citizenship? How do I not become, how do I become stateless? How do I, you know, again, for example, some people out there might want to become a Mexican citizen and renounce their US citizenship. Guess what, guys? You can't do it. They don't allow you to do it. That sounds like slave to me, all right? They want to make sure that you belong to them no matter what, that they can, if they want, they can drag you out of wherever the fuck you are and drag you back to the US, all right? And again, this is why me and a lot of people, once we get to a, outside of the US, we start taking the proper steps in order to make sure that these things don't happen. But we don't fucking know. You know, look at people like Kim.com. This guy has never even stepped foot in the US. He's a New Zealand citizen, and yet, you know, they're, they're trying to extradite him and deport him to the US to stand trial. Look at Julian Assange, another individual who has never stepped foot in the US, and they are trying to extradite him to the US over treason. Now, I know we've discussed this many, many more times and they've changed, you know, the charges on him, but regardless, it doesn't even fucking matter. They can do what they want for the time being. As you guys already know, as we talk about this on this channel many, many times, they are losing their power. And you want to be out of there by the time that that happens because if you're still stuck in the USA when the whole thing hits the fan when the shit hit, hits the fan it's, it's too too late guys all right I can tell you from personal experience you know not just my own family um, after Cuba you know after Fidel took over and then you know the process of them getting out took literally almost a whole decade and I can talk about other people that have left Soviet Russia or left other countries and uh, that are in a similar situation as the US is about to hit and it's not that easy and right now most people don't even see it but I think that anyone that's still watching right now this video you guys not only see it but you guys are living it and you guys can't wait to get the fuck out and all I, I'm all I need this all, all I'm, I want to really tell you guys is that just do it already. Just freaking do it, okay? While you still can, because there will come a time in the very, very, you know, um, near future in which you're not gonna be able to do this anymore. And it will be a figment. You know, it'll be, it'll be just like the American dream. You need to be asleep to believe it. All right, guys. I hope today's episode was informative. I know it was a little bit of a clickbaity type uh, title, but fuck it, you know what I mean? I had these things on my mind, I wanted to talk about it, and I need to create a good title for the video, so, hey, what are you gonna do, sue me? 
Actually, yeah, you probably can, but whatever. I'm in Mexico, so you can suck my dick or talk to my Mexican lawyer. All right, that's my Mexican lawyer over there, all right? His name is Lambo. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to give a big shout-out to all my contributors, um, whether you guys are, you know, um, helping me out um, by becoming a patron, by, you know, throwing me a couple bucks through PayPal, through the Cash App, with Bitcoin, with Digibyte, whatever it is. It's all, you know, part of the you know foundation here i don't even know what the hell i'm talking about but like um you know i need to come up with a better way to do this at the end of the thing but anyways seriously i would not be able to do any of this without your support it's all about your support if you love this stuff and you love this content you love this channel then please you know you already know what to do just subscribe hit the like button leave a comment that's it all right you already know what's up if you really 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 like it and you really really want to help and feed my horse help me feed my horse help me feed me and help you know make sure that you know, I don't have to go um, back to my socialist country, then um, please, you already know what to do, all right? Just send a couple bucks my way and help me help you, all right? And um, that's it. But honestly, you know, if all you can do is just watch the ad before the video, if all you can do is leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, share this knowledge, hit that bell icon. If that's all you can do, then hey, you're doing a lot. Even if all you're doing is watching the video and leaving a thumbs down, it still helps. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to, I already said, please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, I'll see you guys tomorrow because I upload every single day. But, but no, really though. Most importantly, more, more, most importantly than anything else is don't get your tongue caught because then you're not going to be able to finish the last thing you want to say, which is stay awesome. I fucking love you guys and uh, that's it. Peace out and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.